guys, guys. and welcome back to our channel welcome to a new vlog if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscription button and we'd love you guys to join us on our journey so yeah without further ado we are gonna start okay guys so if you can tell by the title of this video yes we secured some taylor swift tickets Yay! so we are so happy we honestly didn't think we were gonna get these tickets because they were so hard to get here in australia this was like a sold out concert i've never seen anything like this in my life i've seen so many artists come here from overseas but taylor swift is like one of the first artists here in australia to sell out all her tickets this whole week has been insane there have been people trying to secure their tickets and i honestly didn't think the both of us were going to get anything it was like mm -hmm. I think I was thinking to myself, look, if we don't get anything, we don't get anything, you know, that's it. But somehow we ended up getting tickets and half of the story is not particularly from me, but from Aisha because I feel like she kind of needs to explain her side of the story because she's kind of the one who got the tickets. Um, but overall, I think I'm going to get you to kind of explain your side of the story because you kind of went through this journey of getting the tickets Because mm -hmm. the first time um, Taylor Swift's um, like really states of her coming here, Aisha was like, hey, we need to go to this concert And I was yeah. like, I want to go, but I just have a feeling that people are going to go insane over these tickets So I'm going to get her to explain it and hear her side of the story So yeah Let's go. Um, so yeah, we signed up for the pre-sale tickets and unfortunately I didn't get any on Wednesday, which I was mm. bummed out. They were sold out by two o'clock. Crazy. Um, so before Friday hit, Kat went and did some research on how you can actually properly secure the tickets and what the issue was. And the first issue was um, the uh, ticket tech recognizing you as a bot. And because I had signed in way too early, like I signed in at midnight, the yeah. it hit um, 12 a.m. on midnight on Wednesday, mm. which was a big no-no because they probably thought I was a bot and I never got any tickets. Yeah. So Kat did some research and she found out from other people who got tickets that before you um, sign in, mm. as Ticket Tech recommended, you have to sign in 15 minutes early yeah. um, so that you're waiting in that lounge. Yeah. And also so that Ticket Tech knows you're not a bot. Yeah. And the other option was to update your account details. So before she signed in, because it was on my laptop, but Katrina was on that computer, um, she updated her details and then signed in. And I'm not gonna lie, I waited around two, three hours because I know that was this ridiculous. was insane. Um, I almost took a day off, but I said to myself, if I don't get tickets, it's mm. bittersweet, like whatever. Because I thought about it, why should I take a day off just for tickets? Just for tickets. Like, come on, like I thought that was unnecessary. We're not that stupid. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna sacrifice my work day over tickets. Nah. So I kind of said to myself, if I don't get anything, whatever. Mm. Um, but 10 minutes before I had to leave for work, I got. I know. Something. I wasn't even paying attention to the screen at that point. I was watching something on YouTube and I turned around and there was like a ticket link screen sitting there waiting for me to pick the venue. And I'm like, <gasps> and I bolted over and I was telling Katrina that my hands were shaking. I never shake with me. Like, I'm not like, and when I get nervous, I don't Because do I think we, you, I didn't think she was going to get them yeah. because we were like riding on false hope because we just yeah. knew we weren't going to get it. There was too many people in there and everything was exhausted. Like, it was just gone yeah everything so, was gone yeah pretty much by the time i signed in before two o'clock so mm. i before two o'clock guys all the general tickets were gone every um pretty much oh we signed in that um what i would say but all the general tickets were gone stupid there was nothing left so the only option we had was to pick vip yeah and just a disclaimer at no time at point or whatever point in time sorry did we choose to go for VRP? We just wanted no. general tickets. Absolutely. But Ticket Tech did give advice to say that if you sign in and you don't get the tickets you want, you're gonna have to pick something Move you something, don't yeah. want. A and marketing thing that they use. Which yes, unfortunately. Is smart. And so I had to quickly. Can you believe this, guys? I rang Cat with the <laughs> seven minutes I had. I, I was so, on my way to. I was actually I at was work. On five minutes I had to ring yeah. her to ask her yeah. if she was willing to go and bump it up to VIP because we were not prepared for VIP. I actually okay, wanted guys? us to get VIP. Yes. Then Katrina told me later she wanted VIP. She didn't want to sit in the back or whatever it is. It's too far. For me personally, I don't care as long as I got a ticket. Like I'm more on the cost. Katrina doesn't give it. She wants more of the comfort. So in the end she was like, yeah, go for it. So yes, guys, we ended up getting VIP tickets. 
and I'm not gonna tell you how much they were because they weren't cheap. That's all I'm gonna say. In in reality, I would no. never spend that much on a bloody ticket. No, and I wouldn't. I thought not about that it much. after like why? Why? Sitting back like, what the hell did we yeah. just... But then I thought, I'm not going to throw this opportunity away. I got in. Just get it. And you know what, guys? It's our first time going to a concert. Yeah, it's We've our first never, concert. We've never, ever been to a concert. We've never been to a concert no. in our life. Not like, even like a little nah, gig or whatever it is. Nothing. We're really picky and we don't... We don't <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, mm. I'm more like to invest my money in traveling overseas rather than watching to concerts. Yeah. But I had told Kat quite a while ago that if there was a concert I would go to would be Taylor Swift like guys she was literally I was adamant on that she was literally on the phone and I could hear in her voice like I could hear that if we didn't get these tickets like her voice was breaking I think it was like the end Look, game I'm not gonna lie I was gonna cry <laughs> yeah. yeah I know like, I just thought about it like on Friday I was trying to mentally prepare myself like if you don't get tickets Asia, whatever it's better sweet you can just watch her reputation tour on Netflix which I already have yeah but um, because it was the first time ever, I re mm. I knew, look guys, going into this, I knew everybody would want these tickets, okay? Yeah. And there's people we know who wanted them and they didn't get them. I, I find that there was like people who purchased tickets but purchased like for every single day and there were people who just wanted one night just to see her and mm. I felt like that was really selfish because there were so many people out there who wanted tickets but people were buying like three nights or five nights for her concert mm. like people will do melbourne and then go to sydney like in my personal opinion i thought that was really selfish and i feel like if other people wanted tickets i felt like the company itself should have limited that so you know to or they any... should have put like tickets should have put a yeah. stop on like if you purchased the ticket you had an account like, you purchased that was it you cannot rebuy again yeah like i felt like that was pretty that like selfish because i we watched the news yesterday and this young girl was like she got tickets to every show in Melbourne. Now, Taylor Swift yeah. added two more shows, meaning she's got all four shows. And I just looked at this chick like, wouldn't it be enough to just watch her once? Once. Like, why yeah. do you have to go for, like, I get it. I think there's a Taylor fanatic Swift fan, but big like, fans. I found that unfair to those who had been waiting to get tickets. Like, there's people who've missed out. And then you've got people who've got multiple tickets. To me, it's not fair. If I was uh, Taylor yeah, I Swift, thought that I would have cut down on that and be like, it should be one... Um, amount of like because you get four tickets per person like if someone bought four tickets that's it someone else has to buy it, if that yeah. makes sense so i feel like some of the ticketing thing was unfair um yeah. so like we were just lucky no we're not lucky lord i thank the lord for that okay that's all i'm gonna say like i literally when i finished getting tickets I'm no but I, I feel like we were just in it at the like i didn't like the last minute and i honestly didn't think yeah. we were gonna get anything because so many people signing i think it was four million on wednesday who tried signing into that um, lounge room? Like that's insane. And that was just the pre-sales. Yeah, that that's was. Not that even wasn't even the, the general sale. ticket. Yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing next year to anybody out there who didn't get any tickets, who is not going, I'm planning on trying to film some of the clips from the Eras tour, like kind of bring you guys on a journey with us to our very first concert so that it gives you guys an opportunity for those who didn't go or who didn't get a ticket, like you kind of get like an insight into the concert itself. I know for sure that I can't film everything, obviously because it's copyright, but I can try and film something for you guys so that you guys get to experience um, the Eras tour with us. Or you can just jump online on YouTube because Taylor Swift is touring at the moment in America, so yeah. Pretty much the set list for the songs and what she's doing in her Eras tour is there. So there's yeah. multiple people who've uploaded it, so you can have a look and yeah, see. So many blogs going to be it. like, yeah. yeah. But um, even if you want, if you're interested in looking at what the VIP package gets, because because we got yeah, the VIP that, package, that's pretty cool. we're going to get like some merch. Uh, no, mm. not merch. Like this box, box with all this little stuff in it. Which yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it's something. Um, but yeah, like I said to you guys before, we didn't plan on signing up for VIP, no. but because we really wanted no. to go. Well. She really wanted to go, and I didn't want to hear her upset. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna send the money. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. It's our very first concert. We've never been to a concert this big that sold out ever. So we're gonna take you guys along for the journey, and we can't wait to take you guys with us. So um, that's pretty much how we got the tickets, and pretty much after that, I went straight to work, guys. Like. I was actually at the time when I was supposed to leave, but I left 10 minutes after. You could sleep a little. Yeah, because I sort of could breathe a bit, but I just hurried up and paid them, and then I just went straight to work. And when we came back, me and Kat were sort of discussing. We went and looked at the stadium and saw where we were sitting, and honestly, like, the it was best perfect. view. Like, it's, there's nothing in the front. 
Uh, we're kind of on the side, but it's like you get really good view like and that's kind of what we wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're pretty much now just prepping and planning what we're going to do for next year. Um, meaning like travel wise, accommodation wise. And we actually told our brother who was actually excited and happy for us um, because you know, he never heard us shut up about it. <laughs> but he was kept asking if he got tickets and Katrina eventually told him when he come back and he was happy that we, you know, we got something. Um, and we told our mum as well. And she was more like, do you know what parents are like? You know, despite our age, our mother still worries about every little thing. That Especially happens. the fact that we're in our 30s. Yeah, I know. And she's still, still worried worry. about like, our mother doesn't like those type of things. She's like, oh, it's not safe. There's going to be so much people there. You don't know the people. And we're like, look, it's Taylor Swift. There's going to be people that are younger than us, maybe even under 10 years old with their parents. So, you know, I get it, but we just want to enjoy ourselves. And, you know, it's the first time for us. First time. First time first for time. us to go to a concert by ourselves. So, I don't know. I'm just so excited. And I'm already like planning what I'm going to wear. <laughs> I'll just leave mine till next year. Uh, but I'm not, not buying gonna anything plan it just yet. Until like probably towards the end of the year, because I feel like my mind might change. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You might think of what you want now, and then later on you might like actually I want to wear this. So yeah, yeah, I'm planning all that. But otherwise, that's pretty much how we got the tickets, guys. Someone's happy. <laughs> Anyways, that's all pretty much how we got the tickets. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah. everyone had someone else, other people had the same story because it was not easy, okay? Yeah, if you guys do plan on getting tickets, there is September. I can't guarantee that there will be anything, but you know, anything could happen. People could change their mind and say they can't go to these concerts. So check back in September because sometimes some people will put their tickets on sale, but it'll be back through Ticket Tech. Yep. So just check it out or give them a ring or email them as best as you can, see if you can get a hold of tickets. But if not, just keep watching our channel and then by next year, you guys will get to join us on our journey um, to the Eros tour. So Yay! yeah. We're excited. So we can't excited. wait to bring you guys along to our fir very first concert. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we will we'll hope to see you guys there next year. Don't forget, if you want to keep seeing um, more of our content, please subscribe, comment below, let us know who you are and let us know if you try to get tickets. I'd love to hear your story. Put it in the comments so that we can read them. And then maybe next time in our next vlog, we'll definitely give you guys a shout out and um you know get to know you but anyways thank you and guys like the so video. yeah and like the video but if you have any questions about you know the taylor swift um concert or anything like that just put it in the comments and we'll answer them as best as we can mm -hmm. all right guys um we'll see you soon what are you doing on our phone today i'm actually looking up some clear bags and she in so that and um, what's the clear bags for um because you're not allowed to take any other bag to the concert you have to have a bag that's see-through so that security can see what's inside it if that makes sense yeah so i'm trying to look up which is the best one i don't just want to get the same bag that everyone gets i want something that is a bit more sturdier well she is not sturdy but something that i can use in um, a different time but also something that i know i would actually wear not just because mm. it's simple so i'm just and on the lookout is it for safety reasons that's why we we yeah. both have to get it we both have to like if we want to take a bag to the concert we have to get a bag that's clear we can't use the bags that we own because i was already mm. thinking i was going to use my bag but Me unfortunately too. we can't so they're so like yeah. picky and fussy and i think it's because mm. just for security reasons yeah you have to have a clear bag so if i'm going to get a clear bag i'm just going to get some cheap looking one um some girls said it's cheap but it does the job so that's kind of what i'm doing yep. so, yeah all right fair enough okay Bye. Bye. My the Taylor Swift songs going on in the background. So I'm going to show you guys the books that I'll be reading in the next couple of weeks. The first one is this one by um, Rachel Eliza Griffiths. This was sent to me from Hatchet Australia. So I'm going to read this. I'm actually in the middle of reading it at the moment. The next one I have is from Pan McMillan. Um, this one is a really short book, so I can't wait to read this one. I could probably fly through this today if I could. Next one I have is Fourth Wing. This is a very, very popular book. Everybody's talking about it on Instagram, Book Talk, YouTube. So I want to try and get around to reading this. I actually got this sent for free. So apparently this book is sold out in every shop and it's sold out online. It's very hard to get. And if you actually get a copy of this, like you're lucky because they're so hard to find. I eventually got this sent to me from Hatchet Australia. Thank you guys so much for sending this to me. And I also want to get around to this because I haven't been around to reading this in some time. And, oh, and I've been falling behind with this. So I really, really want to get around to reading this. That, like the sun is just shining through and I just love it. It's like in the corner. 
in the clouds. Just a beautiful day at home. I love it. So it's late in the afternoon and I'm actually online. I'm gonna start looking around for these clear bags for Taylor Swift's concert. Um, the fact that we have to bring clear bags, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of clear bags. When it comes to, you know, going places, I like my bags, you know, covered. I don't want people seeing things in my bag. I'm not a fan of it. Um, but for the sake of this, I'll just get myself a clear bag. I'm not gonna go for something expensive. Just gonna go for something cheap. Might find it online, probably on Shein or whatever. Um, I hope it's not a lot. Aisha, how much does a clear bag cost if you get it from like Shein or something? Five dollars or twenty. I'm not looking to spend twenty bucks. I mean, really, just for one day. I think that's a bit silly. I might try and look around. I'm not sure where I'm gonna look, but I'll try my best and see if I can, you know, get anything. Yeah.